Hello. Hi there. Welcome, Soul Align Self Care people. And hello, Instagram. I think it's all working. I had some trouble this morning with my connection. So, good morning and happy Monday. Today is the Monday Self Care Challenge. So, every week, for those of you who are new to this, every week I pop on here on Instagram and on my Facebook page. And I share with you a small self-care challenge. And my dog is chewing the shit out of her bone right now. Max. His bone. Max. I have two dogs. Max and Millie. And I wasn't going to put them away, but I might have to put them away. Hey, Max. Max. All right. I hope you can't hear that. I don't know if you can. Uh, this happens to me a lot because I'm like, oh, I'm going to let my dogs stay out. And then they start doing something like that. He's not doing anything wrong. He's actually being really good. So I'm going to try to just like go through this with my dog chewing on that bone. So any, any of you here with me watching this live or the replay, um, that noise is my dog chewing on his bone. He's very happy. All right. So Monday's self-care challenge. So this week is all about, I'm continuing on with the Choosing You series. And, um, oh, that's so distracting. Okay. I'm continuing on with the Choosing You series, and I'm talking about being authentically yourself. And this sounds like super simple, which are a lot of these challenges that I give you are super simple, and it's that way for a reason. I want this to be something easy that you do. Um, it doesn't, I don't want anything to be too hard because I want you to do it. And I want you to also see that when you make small shifts every week, you can create big changes as long as you're doing it consistently. So mark it on your calendar, whatever you need to do to check out my Instagram or join my uh, Facebook group, which is called Soul Aligned Self Care, which is also the name of my podcast. So if you join the Facebook group, I go live in there, or you could follow my YouTube channel, same thing, Soul Aligned Self Care, or you could just see me here every Monday, I'll go live. So wherever you choose to hang out in the social media world, you could probably find me there. I also put it on Pinterest. So whatever, whatever you desire. Um, but anyway, I come here every Monday and I give you a small challenge that you could take. And like I said, today we are talking about choosing you, choosing you being authentically yourself. Okay. And what do I mean by this? And so I can't stand it. Hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry, buddy. You're being so good. Come over here. Come over here. No, over here, Max. Come here. Now you stay. You stay. You're being good, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was so distracting to me. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but it was really distracting. And he's not being bad, so I didn't want to yell at him. So I just put him in the other room so he could enjoy his bone. Okay, so what do I mean by being authentically yourself? So what I mean by this is sometimes we do stuff in our lives and we don't even realize it where we're trying to like almost buffer ourselves or soften ourselves or whatever you want to call it in order to, I, I can't believe this, now the other ones are doing it. Okay. <laughs> In order to make someone else happy. So I, I, I posted something on my social media this morning, not on Instagram, but it's a quote by Lala Delia. I hope I'm saying that right. I really love her. I love her book, which is Vibrate High, Higher Daily. Oh my God, hold on. I'm sorry, it's all these phones. Come over here. Maybe over here. Over here. Over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a shit show. Um, anyway, her quote was, you do not need to set yourself on fire in order to keep someone else warm. So in other words, don't do something just to make, don't make yourself uncomfortable in order to make someone else comfortable. This is about, like I've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, choosing yourself, um, putting yourself first so that then in turn, when you take care of yourself, you can put the best version of yourself into the world, right? Okay, so I'm just looking at my notes because I want to, I don't want to spend a lot of time here. So what happens when you do this, when you show up authentically as yourself, okay? It may be dip difficult at first because you may have been pleasing other people. Like you may have been doing this subconsciously because I did this for a really long time. Um, 
it was part of just the way I grew up, but I was just like this people pleaser. I always wanted to fix everything. I always wanted to make everybody happy. I hated confrontation, and I wanted to keep everyone happy. So the way I showed up in my life, in my relationships, was I'm going to morph into whatever person this person wants me to be. And so I had all these relationships with all these people that I thought were very genuine, and I love these people, and I still love these people, but I was showing up as the version of myself that I thought they wanted me to be right and so what happens a lot of times when you show up authentically as yourself in this case is the people that are meant to be in your life you'll deepen those relationships with them they'll be more honest relationships and you'll be able to have just like this very honest true deep connection with them it'll get deeper right but when the people that don't belong in your life will just kind of like fall away. They may be like, wow, she's crazy or wow, I didn't know she thought that, whatever, you know, and they might just fall away. So it's not like this abrupt, traumatic transition that happens. It's just slow. And when you get aligned with yourself and you slowly figure out exactly who you are deep down inside and you're not afraid to show up as that person, then the right people will surround you and the wrong people will fall away, right? And so it's a very powerful way. Plus, it's so much easier to be yourself. There's no work, right? You're just being you. But when you're trying to be someone else, you're trying to live up to somebody else's standards or what you think their standards are. Because a lot of the time, this is all inside of your head, right? So it's a lot of work, right? And then and then you got to remember, okay, well, well, with this person, I have to act like this. And with this person, I have to act like this. That's a lot of freaking work, right? Nobody wants to do that. So just like they say about lying, it's easier to tell the truth because you don't have to remember all your lies, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's the exact same, but that's what the saying means, right? I'm not really good at remembering quotes exactly as they are, okay? But um, it's so much easier to be your true self. It's less stressful. There's less anxiety involved. It's completely honest. It's authentic. People can feel that when you're being authentic. People can feel when you're aligned with yourself. And so this is um, a very deep level of self-care and self-love. So how do you know when you're not showing up as yourself? So the way to like really um, kind of pick this out of your life, because I wasn't doing this intentionally. I really wasn't. Um, I was really just trying to make everybody happy and a lot of these people that I was friends with aren't bad people. These people I had relationships, they're not bad people. They weren't trying to make me be someone else. I was just doing what I thought they wanted. So it had absolutely nothing to do with them. It was all about my insecurities and my, you know, my self-worth issues, right? So, um, obviously I've figured this out. I'm not perfect. I still have these things pop up in my life where I think I have to act a certain way. And probably I would say most of that comes in like maybe around my, my father mostly because he, he thinks he, like, I'm always afraid that he's just going to think I'm super weird because I'm super spiritual or whatever. So I kind of just like, I don't, I do. I buffer it. I definitely do. I definitely do. Right, so he was like on my email list, and I took him off my email list because I didn't want him reading my business emails because I didn't I didn't want to hear about it from him. <laughs> so I still do that in some cases, and I shouldn't be afraid to be myself in front of people that love me, right? So um, I still have work to do in this area, obviously. So what I want you to do today, let me just make sure I covered everything I wanted. All right, is I want you to look at these different areas where. You feel like when you're in the situation, when you're with this person or these people, that you, you feel like not completely comfortable or it's exhausting. It's like an energy sucker from your life. Or, you've, and you, or sometimes you're completely aware that you have to show up a certain way or you have to not say certain things or not do certain things, right? And I want you to become aware of those situations, right? Um, and then I want you... I just want to make sure I'm covering everything. Here's my girl. Can you see her? This is Millie. Millie needs a little haircut. She's very furry right now. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. All right. This has gone on. This this live has gone on for a little, pretty long. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to find the areas in your life. Find the one area because we're making this a small step, right? So find one small, one area in your life where you feel like you're not being completely authentic and think about a way that you could step into your authentic self. 
and make a slow transition with this person, okay, or with this situation. I think that um, even if you need to like gradually step into being comfortable with being yourself around certain people, let me tell you something, you'll be pleasantly surprised every time that I have shared like a deeper side of myself with people that I've been afraid to do this with, I was always pleasantly surprised, you know, so maybe, so maybe I could act like a spiritual freak in front of my father and maybe he won't judge me. Maybe he won't say anything at all. <laughs> and if he does, like who cares, right? You know, you have to be yourself and it's so much easier to be yourself, which is basically my message today. It reduces stress, it reduces anxiety. You guys know that I'm all about self-care. I'm all about reducing anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. So this is something that I have to continuously work on every day of my life. And what I do is I find all these little places that I can make these improvements. And this is one of them. So when I know that I could show up like here right now and just be 100% myself, and it's not that I don't care what people think. People say they don't care. I don't think it's that they don't care. I think it's that they, they're not going to let it stop them. You know, like, so I care what my father thinks, but maybe showing up myself, maybe I'm not going to let that stop me. And I'm just going to be the, a spiritual freak in front of my dad. <laughs> I'll let him sign up for my email list again. <laughs> I won't kick him off. But anyway, so maybe that'll be my challenge this week to, to be 100% myself in front of my dad. Um, and so you pick an area of your life that might be a little bit scary because we know when, when we do things that make us uncomfortable, there's always magic on the other side, right? There's always, whenever we put ourselves in uncomfortable situations, um, positive uncomfortable situations, I have to add that, we can always find magic on the other side of that. And so this, this allows you to be authentically yourself. And like I said, the people that belong in your life, you'll you'll make these deeper connections with them. They'll, they'll be like soul aligned connections. And the people who don't belong in your life, they'll just fall away. It'll be very, you won't even notice it. They'll just fall away. Okay, so that's this week's challenge. So I hope that you participate. I hope you take the amount of time just to ponder, just to think about it. So as you go about your day, just say to yourself, okay, I'm going to try to just pay attention to what Tina was talking about. So every time you show up in a social situation, whether it's with your partner, your kids, your parents, um, your business, whatever it is, whatever relationships you have, think about whether you're buffering your personality or you, you're acting a certain way to please this other person to make it a more pleasant engagement. And then try to figure out, to think in your head, this could all be done like just right in your head, think to yourself, well, how can I show up more authentically as myself in this situation? And it doesn't mean you have to do it right then and there. It's just let's become aware of this and then let's start making an effort to like really step into our authentic self. Okay. Until, and then on Wednesday, I'll be going live and going deeper into this and talking more about this. And that'll also be the topic of the podcast this week. I want to remind you guys that I have the, um, the link so that you can sign up for the free 2023 Soul Align Self-Care Masterclass Series. I'm going to be releasing five masterclasses, and they're going to be super epic. And they're all going to be on the top of, of self-care, um, self-improvement, and mindset, and all those types of things. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm using it as kind of a, an introduction or a launch pad to my signature program, which is Aligned and Worthy. And what I mean by that is each one of these masterclasses is going to be added to my signature program that already exists as a new lesson. But I'm going to offer these to the public this year so that they can have a sneak peek inside of this program. And the reason that these are going to be such high-level, epic masterclasses is because I'm putting them inside of what I call my baby, my signature program that I love so much. And this program is really designed to help you step into your authentic self, step into your power while practicing deep level self-care. So you avoid the stress, avoid the anxiety and avoid the overwhelm and create sex in your sex. Yeah, create sex in your, <laughs> create success in your uh, your personal and professional life. That's really that's a really good blooper. Okay, I'm having a hell of a time with this live. So anyway, I'm going to share with you the link. So if you're on Instagram and you see this, the link is right in the bio for you to sign up for this free masterclass series. You only have to sign up once, and then you'll get each one of the five masterclasses. It'll be available to you for 48 hours. 
um, for free. And then after that, you can purchase it um, on my website, or you could jump into the Aligned and Worthy Bootcamp, and you get all those and each other lesson that's already in there for free. Not for free. If you're in the boot camp, obviously you have to pay for it, but you'll get the master classes in there and you'll have lifetime access to all of that. So, but you can get it for free. You're not obligated to sign up for the program. So you could just sign up for the master class series and get five epic master classes this year. It's going to be, I think, February, April, June, October, and December. February, April, June, October, December. Yeah. Those are going to be when I release the master classes on or about. And the first master class is coming out on February 13th. I was trying to get it done for the 10th. It is not going to be done, so I'm going to release it on the 13th. And I'm so excited about it. I'm not going to tell you what it's about yet because it's going to be a surprise. I will announce it in a couple of days. If you sign up for the master class, you'll get an email and I'm going to announce it probably on Friday and then you'll receive it on Monday. And you don't have to show up anywhere at a special place or time. It's going to be emailed to you and you'll just have access to these videos, these master classes. And you'll have, like I said, the first master class is going to be five lessons, five videos, but they're not going to be terribly long. It's not going to be take a ton of your time, but super powerful. And there's either going to be workbooks with the master classes or journaling prompts in the form of like a workbook. So I'm very excited about this. I hope you join me. It's absolutely free. So just get on the list, sign up once, and you'll have all year, you'll have these really cool master classes coming your way. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say today. So today's Monday's self-care challenge is showing up authentically as yourself. So this is about becoming aware of where you're in your life in social situations where you're buffering who you are in order to make somebody else comfortable. And then trying to start to step in your authentic self, show up as your authentic self. And as I said, these relationships with these people will deepen if they're meant to be. And if these are the people that are not meant to be in your life, they're not aligned with your core values that you're going to present, then they'll just slowly fall away, right? So this is this week's self-care challenge, one small shift every week. I will see you on Wednesday for the live and then next Monday for your new self-care tip. If you know anyone who could use a little bit of self-care in their life, just show them where I am on Instagram or on Facebook, the Soul Aligned Self-Care uh, private group. I would love to have the more the merrier. Okay, bye. Love you. Okay. Buttons to press.